make sure you hit the thumbs up that's a like then hit subscribe and hit that bell and watch my whole video hey boys and girls would you like to learn how to create a Valentine's Day optical art drawing using Sketchpad 5.1 online? You would? Well, just watch. Op art is short for optical art. The word optical is used to describe things that relate to how we see. Have you seen an optical illusion before? Op art works in similar ways. Artists use shapes, colors, and patterns in a special way to create images that look as if they're moving or blurring. Sketchpad 5.0 is a wonderful online tool that you can use free to create your digital op art project. I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can find this online drawing tool and I'm going to show you step by step how to do this project today. It's fun, it's easy. Let's go! Okay, you want to open a Google page and you want to type in Sketchpad 5.1. Click on that. Once it opens up, now that the page has opened up, you want to go to the plus sign. Click on that. Then in this menu, at width, you're going to type in 1280. Below width, you are then going to type for height 720. Then you are going to go over to the right in the same menu, and you're going to look for where it says lined. After clicking that, it will turn yellow at the top, and you're going to go down and click Create in the red. Now, we're going to the star, which is a shape. You're going to go down one, open that up to that menu. If you're going to make a Valentine's Day op art, you want the heart. You're going to then click on that water drop. A line will come up. You want to make sure your color is set on color and your actual color is black. You're going to go down to line width and push it all the way over to the left. You want it thin as possible, but you want to be able to see it. Now, you're going to be able to start putting in shapes of hearts that are not filled. You want to get at least six to eight heart shapes on your paper and then we will organize them after that. So what we're going to end up doing is copy and paste. And to copy, you need to use your select tool, which is that arrow. And then you're going to right click and a menu will open up. You're going to hit copy and hit it again and we can hit paste and keep on doing copy and paste just repeating that until you get your correct amount of hearts now I went with eight you can do more you can do less now I'm going to organize them I want to create some sort of uh, design some sort of pattern how I want them lined up and I'll give you a little clue if you hold on to your touchpad or your mouse you left click it and hold it while you're moving it you will get a little line that lines up to show you if you're lined up with your other images that you have you see my lines my vertical lines and my horizontal lines that are coming they're kind of showing me if I'm on the same path as my other images so that's a great tool in case your eye isn't that good for lining things up. Now with this design, I'm just going for a pretty simple design. I'm not doing any rotating. I just want to lay them down, create a nice pattern. And then after that, it's going to be time to start filling in color in the background.
Now, if you want to make some bigger, some larger, rotate them. That's up to you. You see right there, I just held the corner of that shape and I made it bigger. If I hold it further, I can rotate it. But that's a left click. Makes it very, very easy to move, enlarge, make small. And then by holding that left mouse button, I can see if it's lined up. Now it's time for fill. So I'm going to the bucket. I'm on vector fill. I don't want that. I'm going to pick pixel. I'm going to pick my color by going to fill. And I want a solid color. I don't want to go with anything wild and crazy. Today I'm picking a burgundy red. I've used pretty much all the colors. Today is burgundy red day. Now my tolerance is up a little bit high. It's at 10%. I'm going to push it down to 1. That's why my whole page filled up. I'm going to double click in the background on the lines. And this is why we're using line paper. But make sure that your tolerance setting in your menu is down as low as you can get it. I think 1% is the lowest. I'm going to double click and fill in my background first. After I finish filling in my background, then I'm going to start filling in my hearts. But the pattern of filling in my hearts will be opposite the pattern to filling in my background. See, I'm doing burgundy to let it stay white, burgundy white, burgundy white, burgundy white. So I want to go through the whole background first before I even start with the hearts makes it a lot simpler and makes it so you can hold your pattern and in case you have any problems you can just hit undo okay now I'm starting at my highest heart and you see it has a white background and if it's a white background I'm gonna make it burgundy going to the next one now if you hold your space bar and your left mouse button you can make your page go in and out you can make it larger and smaller you can magnify it I want to continue I'm just magnifying when I have these little small areas so I can see if you happen to click on a line hit undo which is in your left side of your menu see how I'm holding my pattern my pattern for filling the hearts is totally opposite the background that's oh I made a mistake I'm gonna go over and hit undo now with this one I'm gonna use white because I think I did something afterwards change it back I just changed my color back and I'm going to continue I gotta make sure that tolerance is down Filling in all of my hearts, keeping my pattern. If it's a white background, I want to lay the red in the heart. If it's a red background, I'm going to skip it until I get everything done. And once everything is done and you look at it, you'll see it has that blurry effect to it. Your eyes can't pretty much settle on one thing. You have created your opt art. But I got one little thing that we're going to do at the very end that will, if you use the heart, that will solidify this opt art holiday piece. We'll need to put some type in it. And I'm just about done here. Checking. I think I filled in everything. I can see when I try to rest my eyes on one of the hearts, it's kind of moving a little bit. Makes my eye jump around. That's optical art. Now I'm going to text. I'm going to pick the text that I like. There are so many different texts in here. 
I'm sure you'll find one that you like. And when you hold down on your left mouse button, it'll open up and you'll see how it will look with what you're trying to do. And I want to type Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Or type right in that box. And after you type, you can stretch it out and make it bigger. Don't worry about your size right now. Just make sure your spelling is right. Apostrophe S, it's Valentine's Day. And I'm just going to select it, make it bigger. There we go. I have a black border around the red. Made a mistake, hit undo. I was trying to select it. It's not letting me select it. I got to get right in there and, and click right on it. There we go. I want to put it just in the right place in the center. Oh, and tilt it just a tad. Okay. I think I've almost got it. I'm going to make my outline. I'm going to play around with it. Does it look better thinner? Does it look better thicker? That's a nice option that you can do. I think it looks better thicker. Not too thick, just thick enough. There we go. So we can still see our hearts in the back. I hope that you enjoyed creating your Happy Valentine's Day optical art project with me using Sketchpad 5.1. Please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell, Share it with a friend and always remember, come back again. Take care.